Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, yeah. What's going on, Gemini's twins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Gemini between the 1st and 15th of October? <laughs> Are you guys being vulnerable? Are you guys letting somebody love all over you? <laughs> hey, boy. This is your first time viewing uh, my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Um, look out. I may cuss a little bit. I may cuss a lot. just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? Also, um, this is your first time viewing my channel. Look out. Y'all, thank you so much for everything that y'all do for me. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Y'all being patient because Mocha been sick. But I still been get it out there to y'all and I make it look good, okay? So we rocking. This is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found below within the description. Alright, but we finna rock this for my Sun Moon Rising Gemini. Sun Moon Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers. Please disregard my nose being all stopped up. Ignore it. Just hit a message, okay? Because I'm a little insecure about that right now. But I could no longer hold nobody's videos hostage, okay? So I love y'all very much. And here goes nothing. Welcome to the family, uh, new subscribers. Y'all, we are the dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We do cuss. We cuss or whatever. We cuss. But uh, uh, we love, we share, we grow, we evolve. Okay? Positive shit only. So I love you guys and we rocking. Alright, so first and foremost, the spirit message for the month of October for my sign of Gemini. Gemini, y'all in love. Spirit wants you to embrace all of your emotions, Gemini. The good, the bad, the ugly. Some of y'all are coming to terms with your shadow side. You starting to see some of the things, some of the qualities during this time within yourself that may not be so great, but it's not about pointing the fingers or for that matter, being all like, you know, what can I use real quick? Being all like, because, I mean, it's your authentic self. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is good all the damn time. If somebody is good all the time, watch they ass. Because I don't trust them. They may go in your damn purse while you sleep. I don't know. I, I just don't trust them, okay? I'm like this. Show me all of you. Give me all of you. Gemini, somebody want all of you during this time. I'm seeing some of you guys could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on the Cancer. Okay, this person wants to bring abundance and abundance of love into your life. And I feel like during this time, your third eye is blooming. Some of y'all already seen this person coming before they got there. Some of you all, some of you all are learning how to astro plane during this time. Are y'all making love between dimensions? Don't, don't, don't look at the screen crazy. Like, what did she say? Yes, Mocha went there, okay? Y'all can live in this damn, this damn world of what the hell they said ain't real if you want to. They ain't lying to my ass. Because guess what? <laughs> when the spaceship pull up, <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. I'm tell, I'm, look, whatever. My Venus is in Gemini. So understand, we here. Twins, we here. Some of y'all. We here, okay? I do see during this time, a lot of you all, some of y'all are in love. And a lot of y'all partners during this time, y'all going to see y'all, they in their feelings because they feel like you don't care. A lot of y'all are masking y'all emotions, okay? And kind of putting your financial needs first during this time. Or for that matter, you may have someone in your energy doing that to you who could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But they're doing this, Gemini, to... Cover up they hurt. I feel like you or someone else during this time is afraid of vulnerability. And, <laughs> oh, excuse me, y'all, is afraid of vulnerability. And to be honest with you, baby, <clears throat> it's inevitable, okay? It's inevitable. Love is finna come and beat your damn dough down, okay? Like them kids who be having them damn uh, wafer cookies and stuff in the fall. Here they come. <laughs> As I said, that it was 444. So some of you may be seeing 444 a lot. Uh, signifying stability, okay? And stabilizing a relationship. I do see, Gemini, you could be dealing with a Pisces. This person could literally be 
keeping their feelings real close to the chest. For some of you all, this is definitely a soulmate, okay? This person is your wish. This is what you manifested. It's now here in the, cre right here in the physical, okay? A lot of y'all are seeing the love and actually seeing the beauty within yourself during this time. A lot of you guys have been waiting on the fire sign, Aries Leo Sash, to come forward and give an offer. This person is going to come forward, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. This person wants to, they want a form of newness with you. They want to build. A lot of y'all better be careful because y'all have a lot of fertility, fer fertile energy going. Somebody who was trying to get pregnant, I do see in the next, excuse me. Y'all, in the next 10 weeks, somebody could be finding out they're pregnant with twins. I don't know why they want to show me that so damn early, but they did. Some of you all are trying to move. Uh, some of you all are trying to reconnect with an Aries. Here they come, baby. But it's up to you if you're going to be vulnerable. It's up to you if you're going to speak from a whole place. How do you really feel? Okay? It's okay to be in love. It's okay. Everybody ain't out to get you. You could drop some of y'all can drop these swords, okay? It's okay. You don't gotta fight. Y'all crazy. You don't gotta fight all the time. Alright? <laughs> I am seeing for those of you who are waiting on the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, I feel like this person is moving towards the same goal and mission as far as building that stability, building that firm, that firm foundation. However, they just doing it really, really slowly, y'all. But don't give up on this person. They are your wish. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign that's kind of playing hardball because they feel like that's how they got to be to connect with you. Y'all need to talk more. Because all these damn cards I see, I don't see too many swords to say the child your energy. So, Gemini, you're not really talking to your lover much. And they looking at it like you're being deceptive. For some of you, you can have deception around you, especially if it's involving a Piscean. Some of you had a fire sign. Um, who could possibly be the mother or father of your child? They want to work it out. They want to reconnect their families. Some of you all are completely walking away from your past altogether. Or it could be just the mindset of how you look at things. Some of you all have two options. Somebody from your past that's a water sign and a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. I feel like some of you all have been juggling these people or this have been in your energy. Somebody, air, I'm sorry, fire, water, earth. I feel like there has been a lot of juggling around those elements. Okay, but I feel like Jim, now this water sign, this water sign truly loves you. Okay, and I feel like with this water sign, you're defensive towards them, or maybe you feel like they're defensive towards you. If this is a fire sign, they love you. But I feel like there's this wall. You get what I'm saying? There's this wall, even though there is so much love. The fact that I have the king and the queen of cups here lets me know that you love this person as well. Just like they love you. However, both of y'all are very defensive y'all y'all live breathe one another but you you so damn defensive if you can get what you want out of this union baby for some of y'all it's an aquarius as well you can get what you want but pride and ego is a is, is a mother mother baby it's a mother mother some of you all have a uh, another air sign um libra Gemini Aquarius. If you cut this person off, or maybe defensive toward being defensive towards this person, because maybe you found out that they was in a third party relationship, okay, and maybe you cut them off, but you love they at you love they dirty draws. If you thought, okay, I know this person's talking to me, you damn right. Because this is how they feel. They feel like this because it's like, damn, you cut me off. Some of y'all are feeling totally freaking heartbroken by another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And some of y'all may be cutting off. You're going from defensive to cut your ass off and move towards real love with the air sign. Some of you all, when it comes to earth, I feel like there's an issue with turning things around with the, with the equal level of give and take. One person I feel is focused on the shmoney and the other person is just focused on why the other person is not focused on them and only focused on the shmoney. Like, Y'all, karmic cycles having to do with how you communicate, baby. Communicate effectively and stop finding it okay to leave people in the dark. Like, all right, well, since you assume that's what I'm doing, fuck it. I ain't going to give you no explanation. 
That's just what it do. You shouldn't your ass shouldn't have thought that. I mean, and it really is not fair because it literally leaves you feeling stuck, anxiety feel, and it leaves the other person feeling like, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? What can I do right? That is what builds codependency and relate. You got to communicate, my babies, twins. Make this judgment call. For some of y'all, it's letting someone go in order for you to chase your dreams and be happy and fulfilled elsewhere. Okay? Some of y'all want to build a family so bad with a Virgo, baby. And I feel like you or this person have abandonment issues and somebody else, when they get mad, they play on that. They may leave, and then when everything, when they see you happy and healing and shit, they come back. Stop that cycle with whomever this is. Okay? I don't give a damn what the sign is. Stop that cycle and love you for you. Work on self. For some of you, you want to put in work with, uh, put in work with the relationship that you may have with an Aries. This could be the father of your children. This could be your father. Okay? This could be your children, but you want to work on that relationship because you feel internally conflicted about either your new beginning or moving on and having to start something new or moving on, moving on from someone who you have history with to move forward towards commitment with somebody else. It's being true to you during this time. What makes you happy? For those of you who was waiting on that new job or wanting to know if your businesses were going to boom, here you go, baby. You're looking like new shmani out here, but you haven't to make the decision. To choose yourself in happiness. Be vulnerable. Speak your truths. Matters not who don't like that shit. Matter whether they like it or not. You don't got to like it. You don't got to like me. But you will respect me. Period. Let them know, Gemini. Be vulnerable. It's okay. For some of you, you're dealing with a Taurus. And I feel like you and this person both are focusing on money, but you're not talking about the root of the issue. This three-party shit. Some of y'all didn't know what a Capricorn. You're not talking about the root of the issue. This three-party shit. It has to die. Something has to die in order for this love to really be consumed. In order for this love to really be appreciated, nurtured, protected, authentic. Make that judgment call. Communicate. Quit thinking, oh, well, shit gonna go crazy if I let this person know. No, it might just go good. How about that? Don't think negatively. Positive shit only. Okay? Love y'all, my babies. This is what I got for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of October. Sorry I'm a day or so late, but... I was trying to breathe or whatnot. Now y'all be praying for me, okay? Give me some of that love through the ethers to get me right. For those of you who were cross-watching for cancer, cancer's next and they live. Love y'all.